Hey everyone, today I'm working on an 03 BMW 325XI and we're redoing the headlights. Instead of paying someone to buff out your headlights, just to replace them, order some new lenses. It's not hard, we're gonna show you how to do it today. So basically, it'll make a lens go from looking all frosty like that to nice, shiny, brand new, clear like that. So go ahead and pop your hood open. So here is one of the old lenses and you can see how frosty it is back behind there. And then here's a new lens, brand new, perfectly clear. So you first start off with a little trim piece below the headlight. If you get a flathead screwdriver and push the little tab back and pop it out, it will pop out all the way across. These bottom ones right here, you might want to slide the screwdriver up in here like this and push downward on them. Now be really careful with these because they are, they will break easily. They're really brittle. So you can see right there the little tab. You'll just you can uh, see that tab right there that you push in all the way across. Um, this one back over here. Once you get it loose, they'll usually just pull out. Just be careful because they do uh, snap really easily. So then go to the top side, take out the 5 16th bolts on the top of the headlights right here. I've already loosened them up, one on each side. And then if you look right down here in the corner, which on both sides, left and right, right down in there, there's a screw down in there. Now you'll need a magnetic retriever and a long extension. So you get the long extension, stick it down in there. Once you get it loose, and get your magnetic retriever down in there and bring it right up. Just like that. There's another screw right back here on the back side, right down in there, right behind the adjustment for the headlight. On both sides it's the same. There you've got that one. And then you can see it right there on this side, right there. Go ahead and take that one loose and get it out with a magnetic retriever also. So now the headlight is totally loose and you can start bringing it out. Now underneath You'll need to bring it up just a little bit. Be careful with this trim piece across here because it's always brittle. You can see this one's already falling apart. It has several cracks in there. I mean, it's a good time to replace them, but you don't have to. You don't have to uh, take any electrical off. You just need to slide it out just enough to be able to get to the screw over here and to where you can work on it and get to the clips underneath. So over on the side where the corner light, the turn signal light, is right here. Go ahead and unscrew screw that's in there just to get it loose. Okay, you just have to get it loose enough just to pull the light back just like that. You don't have to do anything else. You don't have to take it off. You can just leave it sitting there. But you just gotta get it to clear for this side to come off. Now go ahead and remove this um, plastic piece right here. The little seal. Just be really careful not to pry on it too hard. Sometimes they'll just slide right out just like this one. Get it out of the way. Now you'll be ready to go ahead and use a screwdriver. Be really easy with these tabs here because they will break very easily. So just barely lift up on them, get them up out of the way, start working them slowly up. You'll probably hear them kind of pop a little bit once they're clear. Like I said, you don't want to go up too much. You don't want to break them. Do the same thing with the bottom ones underneath here. Once you've gotten them all the way around, and you can kind of start pulling. Go ahead and start pulling on the lens. Just go really slow because it's been there for a while might be stuck in the sill back behind there. So I slowly pry out on it. Make sure that your tabs are clear. And you can start pulling it out just like that. I try not to put too much pressure with a screwdriver on it. And just keep going all the way around it until it becomes completely loose. Just take your time. There we go. Starting to come now.
All right, so now the old lens is off. Now's a good time to take like a microfiber cloth or something, clean up in the lens, any type of debris or, or uh, dried water droplets or anything like that that's on there, go ahead and clean it out. Try not to touch the bulb up in there. Why not? Clean out all the debris. Bulb of halogen. Get your oily fingers, prints all over them, and then pop. Hmm. Pop. So now take your new lens, probably in a wrapper from whenever you bought it, which this one came off the internet. Pretty common internet website. So just make sure your seal is in there if it popped out with your old lens and just slowly put it back in, into place. And just work it back and forth. And you'll start hearing all the pieces snap in. Once everything is snapped in, I'll go ahead and retighten the screw hanging on to your marker lamp on the side or your turn signal. Then reattach a little seal. Just push it back up into place where it came out of. Again, just be really careful with it so that you don't break it. Now you're ready to slide the assembly back into place. Now don't force it because it'll catch on something that usually catches on those clips down there. So now go ahead and slide your trim piece back on before you tighten everything up because you're going to need to lift the light up most likely just slightly in order to get this back in. Start on the outer edge and just push it back in. You'll have to snap it back in to place all the way over to this side. And once you've gotten that back in, then go ahead and start reattaching your mounting screws. Now normally just get the screws started get all of them in their holes and then wait to tighten them up till I get all of them in. The back one here and this corner one, I'll stick the magnet up there, attach it to it and slide it down into there. And then I'll spin the magnet, getting the screw into the hole. Once it uh, grabs enough, then I'll go ahead and pull the magnet out like that. And go ahead and stick the socket down in there to tighten it up. So once you get the all the mounting screws back in, you're pretty much done. If you if you don't have a magnetic retriever to remove or, or install the screws down in there, then get you a piece of tape or something sticky to put on the end of the uh, the socket there to hang on to the screw while you're putting it down in there, or get you like a magnetic socket. There's several different ways that you could figure out uh, to get the screw in there without having to drop it each time. So doing it this way really makes the car look a lot better than having someone buff it out. These lenses cost like 30 or $40 online. It's gonna cost you about that much to have each lens buffed out most likely, and it's not gonna look, look near as good. You know, now if you pay someone to do it, yeah, you're gonna have the labor cost, but you can do it yourself. It's really not that hard. You just see me uh, show you how to do it. But you can see how both sides look now. Brand new lenses, makes the car look way, way better than what it did. You can see the old lens and the new lens. So if you were to do this yourself, you probably could get it done in about 30 minutes per side. If you take your time, make sure you don't break any of the brittle parts. But anyways, thanks for watching my video today. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button for me. Like it, share it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Stay tuned for the next video, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching again.